All right. Um, I think we should call this meeting to order since we only have a few minutes before our official retreat gets started. We, uh, we do have a quorum. Um, so we have two things to do. Um, the more important one really, or more substantive one is to approve the support staff master contract that was uh, agreed to tentatively. Um, I can't remember which one of you is on that team. Um, does anyone speak to that, wanna speak to that support staff contract? I can talk a little bit about it if folks need, but. Does anyone have any question or anything? It was sent to us to review. Um, is there anything we should know in particular, Lane, or anyone else who was on that team? Uh, I can give the basic changes. It is a one-year contract, um, given the uncertainties uh, with COVID, um, kind of going into the next year. Um, there were a lot of basic changes to wording, um, fixing wording that was out of date that related back to the days when um, we were multiple districts. Um, so a lot of that was cleared up. Um, we put in the medical insurance changes so that things are aligned with the, the new state negotiations with the union. Um, we did add a uh, provision um, to allow some of the school year employees to have a little bit of vacation time. Um, and it goes by years of service. You know, if they're at 15 years and over years of service, they would get three days. Those days cannot be taken on days that students are in school. Um, overall cost of the district was about 600 bucks um, for that. Um, the group agreed to a 3% increase for next year uh, for the support staff. Um, we did get some wording in around tuition. Um, there's a pretty generous uh, education component that the board offers to the support staff so they can take classes, um, but there was no requirement for achieving a certain grade level to get reimbursed. So we set that as a B minus. Um, they will get their contracts in hand by May 1st. Um, prior to this contract, we had always, uh, you know, given them notification of who was going to be getting a contract on May 1st, but now they will actually get the contracts in their hands on May 1st. And then probably the biggest one for the district is uh, they did allow for parity um, in the grievance process. Um, prior to this agreement, uh, things were kind of one-sided. The uh, union would be able to uh, have a lo longer amount of time to respond to the different steps of the, the grievance. You know, in one of our cases, it was two days, you know, which wouldn't give us much time to contact the lawyers, you know, talk to the people we needed to talk to and, and formulate a, a reasonable response. Um, so there is parity in that now, which is reasonable. And that's pretty much in a nutshell, everything that, that's changing. Oop, Laura, your uh, microphone's uh, off. Um, so are there any further questions from anyone else about the support staff agreement? Okay, um, let's, I'll, I'll entertain a motion then to um, approve this support staff one year um, contract. I make the motion to approve the one year support staff contract. Ooh. I second. I second it. Okay. All those in favor, please wave. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, it looks like it is unanimous. Thank you. Secondly, we um, were sent a list of two provisional hires, a band teacher, a music and band teacher, and a pre-tech teacher. Um, are there any questions or uh, about about those provisional hires. Okay, do I have a motion to approve those hires then, as as written in in our uh, in our agenda? I move to approve those two new hires as written in the agenda. Anyone uh, second, please. Okay, all those in favor, please wave. <laughs> all right, unanimous again. Thank you. Um, so Ashley is recording uh, the minutes here, and um, we will now adjourn this part of the meeting. We will go to our training, um, which was sent to us in a link by Susan uh, from uh, the VSBA. So I'll see you guys there in a minute. Thank you. Thank you.